This uh, video focuses on the last two amendments found within the Bill of Rights, and these are like maybe the most sort of like broad. Um, the Ninth Amendment basically says that you as a citizen have more rights than those that are listed in the Constitution, right? Um, so, I mean, the topic of the cartoon is kind of silly, but it's the uh, people were initially concerned that a Bill of Rights would be a bad thing because people like would think that these are the only rights that individuals have. And it's clearly not possible to write down every single right that you have, right? You have a right to uh, education. That's not in the constitution, right? Just kind of common sense. So this is just letting people know that this is like a list of some really important freedoms that you have, but that there are others that aren't in the document that you still possess. The 10th amendment is one we talked about already in the federalism unit. And this is the idea that rights not given in the Constitution to the national government automatically belong to the states. Again, uh, there are people that were concerned that uh, the worst thing that could happen in this country is an overly powerful like national government. So the idea was like if the national government had the power, it was written in the document and they were the only powers the national government had. And because of the 10th Amendment, all of the other powers automatically belong to the states, right? Trying to give the state governments like power as well. Well, you know, when we studied federalism, right, that this changed when we started allowing the federal government to use like the elastic laws, right? And that's sort of like, you know, we want to do something, but it's not exactly listed in the Constitution, but we're going to use the wording of the necessary and proper clause to link it up to something that is, and then we're going to be able to get away with it. And normally the Supreme Court allows this to happen, right? So we, we hopefully you remember talking about that in the federalism unit. And again, what has happened throughout American history as a result of this is this really complicated balance of power between like the national government and the states and how the states are often trying to push back against the national government sort of intervening in affairs that they believe, right, aren't like constitutional powers of the national government. So um, this was something that you saw um, in 2020 at the beginning of sort of the coronavirus like outbreak was a lot of tension between like the federal government led by Trump, right? And the state governors arguing over who had the power to like shut down states, to open up states, right? To determine guidelines, all of those types of things. And this was a really sort of like interesting back and forth between President Trump and members of the press regarding sort of like the difficulty in deciding like who gets to call the shots, like the federal government or like the states. There's a debate over what authority you have to order the country reopened. Uh, what authority do you well, have? Well, I have the ultimate authority. The President of the United States has the authority to do what the President has the authority to do, which is very powerful. The President of the United States calls the shots. If we weren't here for the states, you would have had a problem in this country like you've never seen before. You said when someone is President of the United States, their authority is total. That is not true. Who, who okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to write up papers on this. It's not going to be necessary because the governors need us one way or the other because ultimately it comes with the federal government. That being said, we're getting along very well with the governors, and I feel very certain that uh, there won't be a problem. Yeah, please. Has any governor agreed that you have the authority to decide when their state I haven't asked anybody. Up? Because I don't, you know why? Because I don't have to. Go ahead, please. But who told you that the president has the total authority? Enough. Just to clarify your understanding of your authority vis-a-vis -vis governors, uh, just to be very specific. For instance, if a governor issued a state home when order, you say my authority, the president's authority, right. not mine, because it's not me. This is when somebody's the president of the United States, the authority is total. And that's the way it's got to be. Total. Your authority is total. It's total. It's total. Your and the governors total. know that. So if a, if a governor, the governors know that. Governor now you have a couple of bands of, of, excuse me, excuse me. You have a couple. Could you rescind that order? You have a couple of bands of uh, of uh, Democrat governors, but they will agree to it. They will agree to it. But uh, the authority of the president of the United States having to do with the subject we're talking about is total. But look, you said look. From the standpoint of the Constitution. Yes, Constitution. You, you thought it should be up to the governors. You can look at constitutionally. You can look at federalism. You can look at it any different way, John. The fact that I don't want to exert my power is much different. We have the power. You have, does the federal government have the power? The federal government has absolute power. It has the power as to whether or not I'll use that power. We'll see. So like 
super interesting debate, right, on when you have like these crises pop up, there is because the 10th Amendment has sort of like changed because of the necessary and proper clause and things like that, who like does the federal government have powers that aren't specifically listed in the Constitution? I think oftentimes we would say yes, but clearly the state governments feel some kind of way about that. So I feel like that's the best example that I can show you from like modern times over this continued battle between the national government and the state.